Hi everybody, this very short video is to show you how to take to Design Space the bundle of five SVGs which lets you cut these lovely pyramid top favour boxes. They're a decent size, they're 65mm square on the base which is about um, just over two and a half inches and they all stand roughly 130mm or about five inches tall. So the difference is this one has no... Uh, vertical base as you can see this one has a shallow one this one's a bit deeper that's deeper and this is deeper still so these four cut from one sheet of a4 or 12 by 12 if you can't get a4 wherever you are and this one cuts from a sheet of 12 by 12 just because it's constructed slightly differently um, overlays are supplied for all boxes so two two layer overlays as you can see can i zoom in on that yeah there's um, a large one and, and then a smaller one that goes over the top. So you can really get quite a nice effect for these. But of course, you can make them just plain in some lovely decorative card as well. So quickly, let's go to design space and we'll bring in first the what I call number one. So there we go. So as always, um, we need to convert the lines that come in as cuts that we want to be scores we can't make them come in as scores so when you bring the file in it's automatically selected so your first step should be to just ungroup it I'm on the desktop version for PC so for me ungroup is over here on the right at the top of the layers panel and when you ungroup it that lets you see the two subgroups inside there and for my SVGs the top one always contains the lines that you need to convert to scores so just click on it to select it find your operations menu choose score from the drop down and you can see that they've been converted now there's only one set of scores in this uh, file so there's no need to ungroup it and then we select the group underneath which contains the three cut pieces and we do need to ungroup those so that everything on canvas is a separate piece and now we can just drag a box around that piece there that's got scores and attach the scores to it if you're not using the overlays you can just delete them and cut this box but if you are and you want them on all four walls you need to duplicate these two pieces so you've got four of each or you know if you're only using the big one just four of that but if you want it on every wall you need four of whichever overlay you're going to use so we'll just say that we're putting both overlays on both walls so duplicate here is at the top of the layers panel you can click there or if you're on your keyboard like me you can do um, control D so there we've got four each of those now so we'll click make it don't need to save it uh, so for the the main box we're going to need to choose 12 by 12 because it's too large to fit on letter or a4 for the largest overlays that no they're the smaller overlays they're just going to cut from some scrap you've got um, and same for this so a4 or letter if you're not using scraps but really uh, from quite a small piece indeed okay so that's the I call that um, yeah pyramid one it has no vertical base walls it's this one here on the left okay I'm not going to cut it so we'll just take that off and I think I only really need to show you one so I'll show you the largest one of the ones that's got the wall and that's this orangey coloured one here so this would be number five this one over here here we are right so again you need to convert the score line so it lands on your canvas it's already selected just ungroup it and then select that top group because that's where the lines that need converting to score live find your operations menu click on where it says basic cut and choose score from the drop down and then click on the group below which contains all the cut pieces and just ungroup and so now everything on screen is a separate piece and we can attach these scores to that one piece there again if you're using um, you get an overlay I'll just send that one to the back you get an overlay for both walls here obviously there are two separate walls on each side for this one and they go on like that if you want to use them and if you are going to use them you need four of each of those so I'll just select those and duplicate twice three four times so now we've got four of each 
So the main box will cut from A4 or letter, actually. That's good. I thought when I tried that before it wouldn't, but A4 or letter, so that's nice. Nice economical cut. And then these will choose A4. You would need one sheet of A4 for those overlays or one sheet of letter. I think you'd be you'd probably be making more than one favour box, wouldn't you? So you'd fill that sheet up, obviously, but this is just to show you um, what you can use if you only happen to be making one. Sorry, should have chosen A4 there. Yeah, A4 or letter. So to make the whole box with all the overlays, three sheets of um, A4 or letter, but as I said, if you were making more than one, you double up and use this space up here as well. All of them, that's the biggest box, so you know that um, the other boxes are going to fit on similar paper, similar quantities of paper, so I don't really need to show you them all. You handle the scores in exactly the same way. Uh, if you have any issues when you come to cut or assemble these, please don't hesitate to get in touch. I'm always happy to help. The way to get in touch is in the description below. You can contact me on Facebook or Etsy, whichever you prefer. And if you've just stumbled across this video and you'd like to buy the SVG, the link to do that is also in the description below. Don't forget, if you're purchasing three or more SVG files at one time from the Tanglecraft Studio Etsy shop, the link is in the description. You can use the 30 for 3 discount code to get 30% off your total purchase. This offer runs all the time, but you need to use that code when you check out. And if you haven't already joined the Tanglecraft Studio Facebook group, join now to get any special Etsy discount codes issued to group members and to take advantage of the free SVG files I give away in the group from time to time. The link to the group is in the description. I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.